as well but I hope you don't mind I thought I'd start off a vlog today because I've got today and tomorrow off it's currently Thursday and I've just received a huge homeware haul I thought it'd be really exciting to show you all the goodies in there then later today I'm going to my mum's house I'm gonna go for a walk in a minute as well just to get some steps in um Shane's gonna do some more painting at my mum's house which I've mentioned before he's just such a good egg we're painting and decorating and then tomorrow I'm not sure what I'm planning tomorrow. I'm going to make some tasty meals again with my fitness journey, a nutrition journey, and basically creating a better relationship with food with having a nutritious diet and making this year the best year to achieve my goals. So, yeah, that's really exciting. And hopefully, I'll have some more exciting updates in between. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this vlog and I'll show you the bits that I picked up from this homeware haul. So this is everything that I got from Cherries, which was kindly gifted to me. If you haven't heard of Cherries before, they're basically a bargain store, just like Home Bargains and B&M. So in here, I picked up a luxury woven chenille throw, which is actually like this pink crisscross, which I love. I picked up a new room diffuser, which is in the scent Ocean. I haven't yet smelt this yet. They're so hard to get off the little caps, obviously to keep it from spilling. I picked up a minky cloth, some two tea towels and some vanish. I also picked up some Lenore scent boosters and some Lenore fabric conditioner. Some iced coffee and now it's getting a little bit more spring. And I got a skinny whip and some toothpaste. So this is everything that I picked up from Cherries and you can actually use my code which I'll pop on screen now if you haven't shopped on Cherries before and you can get a discount on the app. But I'm so obsessed with everything that I picked up just some really good essential homeware bits can't wait to smell this one in particular I think I'll make a coffee right now just where it was needed Do not put the ice, then the sachet of Mocate Gold iced coffee, then the milk. Put the coffee last because it's all like stuck together. Nevertheless, it tastes absolutely beautiful. Mm. So yummy. And it's was it was a little bit sunny a minute ago. It was so cute because I opened the door in the kitchen while I was making my coffee and I was doing the laundry. Oh my god, is anyone else like a mile behind on their laundry because of the cold and rainy weather? Luckily, because the sun's coming through, we can put it out in the garden on the line. But I'm a mile behind on laundry, like so deep, and Shane keeps mixing the colours with the neutrals. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really behind on my laundry. While I was making my coffee, I was just about to say, Oreo came in the house, and because she's an outdoor cat, I would love her to be an indoor cat, but she just prefers being outside. She gets a little bit scared when all the doors are like closed in on her. I would never want to put her through something like a transition just for her to be inside, even though she's nice and warm outside. We've got plenty of like little cozy spots she can sleep in. She's always fed um, 
even like up to four times a day because she meows and we think she hasn't been fed but she definitely has so she's got tons of fur on her let's just say and she's a very happy cat she comes inside sometimes when the doors are open and she's like rolling around on the carpet it was so cute and oh my god i can't wait until i get my own kittens one day i can't wait i get so excited over the little things but i mean you just have to because life is so precious and this coffee is so yummy too cheers to that coffee being yummy for definite so i am gonna go for a walk a little bit but it is getting a little bit late and i haven't had my lunch it's like three o'clock so i thought i'd have something to time me over because i'm not actually like hungry for a big meal so i'm gonna have one of the skinny bars from the cherry school i actually have the orange one as well but i thought i'd try the toffee chocolate snack bar but yeah what else did i want to mm, that is really, really nice i'm just gonna pop to one side for now because i actually want to talk to you so basically oh my god the weather is so nice i'm gonna go for a walk in a minute that's why i'm having the skinny part to tie me over until I have a lunch when I come back. So yeah, on the subject of healthy snacks and eating, I actually wanted to update you as currently I've been on a calorie deficit. I am on day five currently and I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying having a balanced diet while staying in a calorie deficit or near. I'm really excited to see my results at the end of the week and I'm really excited. Obviously I'm gonna do this for a little bit of a duration, um, but not too long so then once i'm happy of like the results or if i want a break i'll go up to my maintenance and then come back down so that's really exciting so i really want to do some more what i eat in a day to add to my playlist of what i eat in a day sort of my lifestyle change because my goal for this year is to definitely make a big change in mindset and lifestyle with my relationship with nutrition and feeding my body healthy nutritious food and it always feels so good for me in particular once I'm eating like healthy nutritious food and my body is thriving and just making sure I'm taking the right vitamins and minerals and just looking after myself is like top priority for this year and also another priority that I made in my goals was to make more of a positive community for my channel i just wanted to sort of make sure that everyone knows this is a safe space which you can come to and relax and just sort of let go of any emotions that you may be attached to right now chill and have like a cozy day with me or cozy days or update with me and just relax and just let everything that's sort of festering on your mind go and also one tip that i always recommend is if you're overthinking something or you're having negative thoughts or you're going for a really tough time is write down a few affirmations say them and then also make like a little audio of yourself saying them so if you're one person that doesn't like being alone with themselves or just find it like you're more of a socialist person and you don't know what to think um, when you're by yourself and you just sort of have like negative thoughts like about little things in life I feel like we've all had it here and there especially on like big occasions where we need to be at our best or you're having a presentation and you have little seeds of self-doubt if you do affirmations before a big event or if you're feeling a bit lonesome you're thinking about the affirmations so you're thinking I'm healthy I am grateful for everything everything's working out for me a little affirmation like that can really help and making an audio just it's so nice to listen to as well and it saves your mind from going through different thoughts and saves your mind wondering really so that is a top tip for me and I hope that really helps someone so yeah that's a really helpful tip just fill your mind with positive affirmations and it honestly uplifts your mood so much speaking about food and healthy like swaps and snacks I have been kindly gifted a box of goodies by Skinny Co. I'm sure most of you have heard of Skinny Food Co, seeing them in B&M. But yeah, they sent me a box of goodies. I'm so grateful. So I thought I'd just show you them. So I first of all have got some Skinny Blackcurrant Jam. And my nails just broke off, which is really annoying. But Skinny Blackcurrant Jam looks so yummy with 30% less sugar. We have some Skinny Sauce, which is Burger Relish 
really interesting to see what that one tastes like. Then we've got the Skinny Syrup Strawberry Jelly. Ooh, I love the Skinny Syrup, um, I think it's like caramel syrup. I had it on my pancakes for pancake day. That was so yummy. We have some cookie dough flavour drops. Oh my god. And then we have the edible cookie dough mixed with sweetener. And I love the brownie mix. If you've been here for a while, you've seen that I've made several of these. So I absolutely love that. And that is everything that I got from Skinny Food Co. Really excited to share some like little bits and bobs that I make with these items. But yeah, super, super happy with everything that I got from them. I have loved Skinny Food Co for the longest time. And actually they do like cocktail mixes now. I've seen them in B&M and I was like, oh my God, they do like cocktail mixes. And I was like, oh my god, that would be really nice for like summertime if you've got guests around as well. But yeah, that is everything that I got from a skinny coat, another exciting delivery. I'm going to finish off my coffee and go for a lovely walk while it's still sunny. And then I'm going to my mum's house later. <laughs> But I know you see me too Everybody singing oh Everybody singing oh Oh my god This ocean diffuser Smells absolutely incredible And I love it so so much It's such a fresh scent I'm absolutely obsessed I've just come home to this filling my room And it smells so gorgeous My pampas grass is still looking strong This was from literally last year I want to say when I picked it um, but yeah, still nice and strong. Hopefully we'll have some nice new ones in the garden this year. But yeah, absolutely obsessed with the scent from Cherries. It's the Ocean Perfume Diffuser. Right, so I'm actually in a little bit of a rush now. I've just cleaned out my chickens because they need cleaning out because if you aren't aware or you're not a chicken owner, like me um there's a lot of bird flu going around so we have to keep them indoors which i absolutely hate i love my chickens being outside we pride ourselves me and shane pride ourselves on our chickens being free range and whatever surplus eggs we give away or like sell so then we can pay for the chicken food and it's horrible seeing them inside um but yeah just keeping their coops nice and fresh and it was so funny because um i'm heading to my mum's house now because shane's actually um painting my mum's hallway i thought it'd be a good idea if i bought his pizza and it says on it don't chuck because last time shane had a pizza um i didn't really eat takeaways but shane bought a pizza and he put it on the side like a surplus pizza like leftover pizza and dad chucked it to the chickens because our chickens eat any leftover food it's so funny he's like no that was my leftover pizza so he put don't chuck p.s this pizza isn't mine fiona <laughs> it's so funny but yeah i thought i'd bring him this pizza so he can eat that at mum's house and hopefully he'll be happy with that but yeah i better make a move i need to go to mum's house meet him there um just like helping with bits and bobs with the painting so he's just basically painting mum's hallway um it just needed a bit of paint and a bit of freshness so he's just doing he's done the hallway walls he's doing that um door borders you know where it's like shiny what's that called i'm not a painting expert what is it called like I don't know I don't know the border the border of the frame so yeah I need to make a move and I will meet him there and that's where I'm off to at the moment so I'll catch up with you a little bit later hopefully I can get some of Shane's painting in this vlog so I need to make a move and I'll be at my mum's house next so we've both just gotten home, Shane got home before me and I stayed at my mum's a little bit longer because we went in separate cars because Shane went after work. He did an amazing job on the door frames, he basically painted the door frames matte and then he's going to gloss them another day so that's what I was trying to get out with, with the word, I was like what's the word? It's gloss. So tomorrow I need to get some fuel and I thought we could go to b and I thought that would be really a cute thing to do and then also I want to do a lower body workout but yeah I'm absolutely obsessed 
just these pajamas like i came home got in my pajamas and they do these in a pink colorway now and also h&m home do a uh, bamboo bedding which is super exciting they have amazing spring selection as well if you love your homeware styling they have like these cutest little easter bunnies for spring and like card holders are so cute i'd love to have like an easter tablescape i just don't really like go out as much with easter decor at the moment probably when i get my own house when we get our own house but like at the moment like i just don't see the point we've got eggs i mean that's very eastery and like when i was little we always used to like paint the eggs and like make marzipan bunnies and stuff at my nan's house so that's something that i would really like to do in the future i'd love to do that um, that's so so cute it used to be my favorite thing ever and me and lizzie used to love marzipan so yeah, just cosy in my pyjamas now and I'll see you all in the morning. yes it is the next morning i've had an eventful morning this morning actually because i spilt the raspberry skinny jam all down my satin pajamas love that for me so yeah it's a really lovely sunny day it is just turned half 12 so i've gotten ready had breakfast had like a slow morning um jotted down some notes um here and there for more video ideas i love having video ideas but sometimes i can literally have sleepless nights because i'm thinking of content constantly so i'm really excited that i'm actually like pouring myself back into youtube which is really exciting so today's plans i need to get some fuel i need to fill her up i'm gonna fill her all the way up to the top um she only takes about 40 pounds to fill which is not 40 pound anymore by the extortionate prices these days but i definitely need to fill her up and just feed her she needs feeding she's running low so i'm gonna head into town and do that and also i thought i'd take you to b m to show you what's new in but also i've seen these really, really nice baskets that go with like my aesthetic and i'm really excited i feel like i'm very dressed up for b m i feel like that for whatever reason mm, 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 i'm a vibe i'm that guy <laughs> For whatever reason i'm dressed up for b&m but yeah it's so sunny so i thought yeah just go for like a spring summery outfit i really want to get this top in beige it's like the low v-neck from h&m of course um, i've seen it in beige come out and i really want to get it so i'm gonna get that oh no i'm trying to save though i've literally made on my notes like a savings list like ins and outs and bills and stuff like that i need to save more so I'm going to have to put on unexpected outgoings today because if I find those baskets, for sure I'm buying them. So they look really, really cute. I can't wait to show you and see what's new in a B&M anyway. And then also my hair, I'm absolutely obsessed with recently using the Coco and Eve products. They are just so, so nice and my hair feels so hydrated literally like all the time. So definitely check them out as always. I'll link them down below. What else did I have to update you on? I had the pyjama accident. <laughs> Saving money recently. Need to fill up fuel. Go to B&A and get those baskets. And yeah, my hair because it's absolutely so soft. And it's a lovely, lovely day. But yeah, it's a beautiful day today. And let's go to B&A. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Enjoying the sun, are you? It's a lovely, lovely day. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oreo's loving life. <laughs> what does she look like right now, Oreo? <laughs> and then also the panthers grass is looking lovely at the moment as well. The damage has been done at B&M. This is what the panthers grass looks like. It is so beautiful. So I'm back from B&M and it feels so weird to be inside when it's this sunny outside. But I thought I'd just quickly show you what I got from B&M because I actually did really well. I only spent £20.83 pence, which I could have not spent but I did buy a few essentials and some gorgeous homeware bits so I'll show you these. Also, in B&M they had some really nice spring bits, some nice panthers grass, a lot of like monochrome look which I really really like. They had Protein World, which I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I've seen in there before, but I was like, oh wow, Protein World's in here. They had like a mug cake, and I also saw Skinny Co in there, which I was like, oh my god, that's so amazing, like they sent me out some stuff, and I'm so grateful and I've seen their stuff in B&M. I love their stuff so much, but yeah, I picked up some bits from B&M, starting off with some Lucasade for Shane, he asked me to get him some Lucasade and then I also picked myself up a Coconut Edition Red Bull energy drink. I hardly ever drink energy drinks but I really like the coconut one and it's not that bad, it's only I want to say 90 calories for the whole thing which is not bad at all. Then I picked up some toothbrushes just to chuck out the old ones, I do this like every two months, maybe three months is that gross what is the normal time to chuck out a toothbrush because toothpaste is self-cleaning i'm not too sure but yeah usually two to three months so i'm gonna chuck out all one got those new ones and then i picked up these cute baskets because i went in there originally for a pacific basket they didn't have one of them but they had the other one that i really wanted as well but unfortunately they're all like really like outwoven and like not as neat as these ones so i thought these were really, really nice and they're actually plant potters but i thought i'd use them for a bin and then one for storage so i picked up two because i didn't know which one to choose pretty sure i don't know where the label's gone oh it's on the inside this was six pounds for this one it's just a really really cute rattan and it's got like little pom-pom tassels on it really really cute and a lot of texture there texture bailey will know what i'm on about when um, i say texture so yeah really really cute and i was indecisive whether to use this one as a bin or i saw this one as well again another plant pot and it was 10 pounds so that's basically what the bulk of what i spent really apart from the two drinks on new bins so yeah again just woven i had a really, really nice white top the other ones i was looking at had like black but it was a really, really small and it just wasn't like neat and tidy where this one's really, really neat and tidy so i think i'm gonna go for this white one for underneath my desk i think it would look really, really nice and the other day actually um, I went to my nan's house for some duck eggs because I'm absolutely starving now. It's 2.09, oh I was going to say 10 past 2 then would have made more sense. Really fancying an omelette because I went to my nan's house the other day for some eggs because we actually give away surplus eggs in exchange for like duck and chicken food just to keep them fed because chicken food's actually gone up as well, can you believe it or not? So yeah, that really, really helps. <laughs> if you're ever in the local area yeah i'm really fancying an omelet whenever i go to my nan's house she always gives like little nuggets of information like probably everyone already knows this but a duck egg is so much better for you than like a chicken egg because of the yellow is actually a lot larger compared to the white in a duck egg whereas in a hen egg the white is a lot bigger than the yellow like the yolk if that makes sense so they're a lot better for you they have a lot more protein in there for you however when you bake with them make sure you add a little bit of water because duck eggs can be really like stiff in a cake. So if you add a little bit of water, just because the yolk to white ratio is gonna be different, when you add a little bit of water, it makes the cake nice and fluffy. They're amazing for baking cakes with. And actually we do have like blue eggs at the moment as well. So yeah, that's a little nugget of information. And then also whenever we're at my nan's house, cause my nan's actually like a full on like equestrian, 
all in person obviously they're full-time farmers but she's been like riding her whole life she's done judging she has loads of ribbons whenever you see in her kitchen her like ribbons are all over her wall they're literally like wallpaper she's done um like shows obviously they do fun runs and they've got so many rosettes and it's just so amazing to have such an inspirational like role model as like my nan and she just has loads of nuggets of information so whenever because obviously the racing is on at the moment at Cheltenham my nan's always giving Shane tips and uh yeah she's just amazing I, I love her so much and she just knows so much about horses and obviously I've had my childhood with horses and I love horses they're just so beautiful they're such beautiful creatures I'm so lucky to have a childhood like that oh the sun's coming back in it's so nice it makes me look really golden on the camera but yeah and obviously we live opposite the farm <laughs> and uh yeah we see the cows all the time and then we have chickens and we brought them home life story fiona i'm just going on about my life here but yeah i'm really really hungry now so i'm gonna make an omelette and then i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go for another walk to be honest because it's such lovely weather and i didn't really go for that long of a walk yesterday because i obviously went to my nan's house and she tells stories like no tomorrow and it's just so nice so um yeah i'm gonna make some food now because i'm so hungry spent some time in the garden watching my chickens but that was everything that i bought from b and and i'll show you what my bin looks like as well see look how nice that looks just as a plant pot as a bin like how nice is that i know i still need to put like a bin liner in it but it looks so lovely and then also i don't leave this exposed i always put a blanket over this i still don't know how to pronounce it boucle boule there's a little is anyone else like blankets like this when you get like little stuff stuck on it it never comes off unless you pick it um but yeah boucle boule yeah i don't know how to pronounce it it's got storage and i love it i know i've mentioned it before but how nice has that been like how nice is that oh my god guys that omelette was so filling glad i'm walking it off now because i am so full it's a lovely day as i've said before but always good to appreciate these things but yeah I'm so full from our omelette and another fact about omelettes is that when you have one and they're with free range eggs obviously I know a lot of people do prefer free range eggs but the yolk is so much more yellower and more nutritious for you especially with our chickens which we feed them everything under the sun so yeah on a really nice walk today and yes, yeah, it's just lovely weather. I was going to tell you something, but I always forget before I like literally pick up the camera. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say about it'd be really nice one day when I get my own house. Like, I'm always saying this, but it's just because I'm manifesting, guys. You literally have to speak it into existence to manifest it. Why am I getting out of breath? <laughs> literally had an omelette and I'm out of breath. So I'm now 43 minutes precisely into my walk. Sorry I've cut off a little bit before. There's a person around the corner and I was like, la, 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 la. just going on to you guys, that was so funny. This sunny weather actually gets me thinking about how nice it would be to have a day out of the Ironwork Centre. Don't know if you guys have heard of it. The Knife Angel, it was like made there. It was made in the Ironwork Centre. And my sister used to work there. She used to work in the cafe bit. Yeah, it'd be a really, really nice day out because they've just got loads of new animals in there and it'd be really, really nice, like obviously iron animals <laughs> that are painted. But yeah, the knife angel is so massive and it's so good. <laughs> like it's scary at the same time, but yeah, it was literally made right where we are. Like my sister used to bike there. Yeah, 43 minutes not too far from home now and I've stopped like rushing just taking my time and I'm really really enjoying it I'm on so far I'm gonna obviously stop it in a minute but yeah one thing I love about spring summer is like these gorgeous flowers start to flower on our little bush here I've completely forgotten what they're called 
but yeah they're so beautiful when they're all blossom and it literally covers this whole bush so gorgeous people that's gonna go ahead and conclude today's video thank you so so much for coming along with me today i literally had a gorgeous hour-long walk which i did instead of having a workout but i really enjoyed it and just choosing what you enjoy is all that matters i definitely got my heart rate up and i'm still so like reloaded from that omelette like oh my god i'm so full so she's actually finished work he's just gone for a haircut but yeah i'm gonna put up my feet now do some editing relax watch some youtube and yeah it's been a beautiful beautiful day so thank you so, so much for watching if you got this far and i'll probably see you in my next video which will be a what i eat in a day or something along the line so i'm really looking forward to that and please make sure to smash a big thumbs up for this video it really helps push out my videos and i'll see you in my next one Bye. Someday soon, I'm gonna make.